<laughs> welcome back to my channel if you, this is the first time of you popping into my channel in this channel we do everything about lifestyle we motivate we encourage people we inspire people to start new skills in life we do hair we plant so many things goes on in this channel but one of the most thing i like doing a lot in this channel is reading my bible reading my bible with you guys so today we are reading with me again guys yes and you guys know how excited excited i get when it comes to reading the bible so today you're reading with me again guys and my friend my bible my friend for 16 years is resting today so i'm using the new bible the new living translation transit translations Ugh, my tongue is biting me the new living translation it is i found it very interesting and easy to read so even though i'm in love with the other bible but i like this one too i got this bible last year so i'm going to be using this today for our reading and we're going to be going to the book of proverb the book of proverb you know the kind of proverb is known as a book of wisdom it's the book of wisdom most of the thing there is something that guides and directs you in your issue of life as a young lady growing up i always want to be this woman of the book of proverb 31 yes guys the woman in the book book of proverb 31 the woman of a noble character who is this woman of a noble character from when I was young, as a young lady growing up, wishing and planning for my future home, I always used this book of Proverbs 31 to pray that I want to be like this woman, this woman of a noble character. I want to be like her. I still pray the prayer up to today, even after getting married. I still use this book to pray up to today just because I want to be like this woman this woman of a noble character i want to be like her i don't just want to be another woman in the world i want to be a woman what of exceptional character a woman of a noble character a woman that her husband will stand in the field and be proud of her a woman that her children will rise up and call her blessed that's the kind of a woman I want to be. I don't want to be a woman that is known for a troublemaker or a woman that is just there blabbing or full of obsession of worldly things or so on and so on and so forth. So I always use this proverb to pray and ask God that I want to be this woman of Proverb 31. So guys, that's why I bring it to you guys today. I know this video will be channeling more on women, but it's something that men can listen to as well. Try to bring up their daughters in the right way or encourage their sisters to read the book and try to imitate this woman of Proverbs 31. So without further ado, let's step into the Bible and read and get to know what the Bible is telling us about this woman. This woman of a noble character. Let's see what the Bible is telling us about her. So guys, today we're reading Proverbs 31. And the heading on top of it says, A wife of a noble character. So the title of this video, video the title of this talk, the title of this conversation is, a woman of a noble character. Verse 10. I'm starting Proverbs 31, verse 10. Who can find a righteous and a capable wife? She is more precious than rubies. Guys, just pause there. Say, who can find this righteous and capable wife? She is more precious than ruby. Anytime I read this scripture, I always look at if pause, imagine I am this woman that is more precious than Ruby. Let's continue, guys. Can you see how exciting it is already? We just read one verse, just this one verse. We can spend the next two hours debating on it, but we don't have that long. I'm gonna cut this video into two parts so that it won't be too long. So at this part, we're gonna read one to ten 
so that I can retain you guys' attention. Verse 2 says, Her husband can trust her and she will greatly enrich his life. I said, wife, can your husband trust you? Are you greatly enriching his life? It's a food for thought, guys. As I'm talking to you guys, I'm talking to myself as well. I'm talking to myself as well. This is a question I pose back to myself. I'm not just saying this because I have my own put together. I'm this perfect wife or a perfect woman. No, I'm a working in progress. So I'm, I'm trying to encourage us women. I'm encouraging you and I'm encouraging myself as well. I ask myself as well. Verse 12 says, She bring him good, not harm, all the days of her life. Oh, Father Lord, I want to bring good to my husband all the days of his life, not harm. I don't want to be a troublesome woman to my husband. I pray this all the time. That's the way I read the Bible. But as I read it, I use it to pray. I use it to meditate and question my own character as I go along. Verse 13 says, she, f she find wool and wax bodily spring. She is like a merchandise ship bringing her food from afar. Can you see this woman? The Bible is referring to her like a merchandise ship and she brings her food from afar. Who is this woman? Verse 15 says, she gets up before dawn to prepare breakfast for her household and plan the day's work for her servant girls. Did you hear that? She wakes up before dawn. She doesn't sleep all the days or wake up late. Before dawn, she wakes up and make breakfast for her house, make breakfast for her husband, her kids, her partner, and her maids. I know it's in, in Nigeria, in Africa, you get, you have maids or you have PA, you have people serving you. But here in Europe, unfortunately for us women here in Europe, we have to wake up and do everything by ourselves. But the Bible is telling us here, this woman, she gets up in the morning, make breakfast, not just for her husband or for her children, even for the servants that serve her. She wakes up, make breakfast, get everything ready before they wake up. Before they wake up and prepare the day's work for them. So she plans ahead of time. Wow. Verse 16 says, she goes to this, she goes to the spring field and buys it with her earnings, she plants a vineyard. So this woman, after all these things, the Bible is saying she's doing in the, at the top, at verse 15 and 14 she still works she still works and use her earning to plant vineyards so this woman this woman she she works she's a capable woman she make use of her hands she doesn't sit around doing nothing waiting for her husband to feed her or waiting for manna to fall from heaven before she gets to move she works she gets up and make earnings. Verse 17 says, she is energetic and hard working. So this woman, there is no laziness found in her. She's energetic and hard working. Wow, God. I want to be like this woman. Wow. Verse 18 says, her hands are busy springing treads, her fingers twisting braids. Wow. Her hands are always busy. Like in this time, you know the way I always tell you guys that as a woman, you have to be multi-purpose. You must, you must be, you must be dimensional. You have to be doing things with your hands. This woman, she, she, she does things with her hands. You need to be creative as a woman. You don't sit down. Like I said, during most of the time, I always mention it in my channel that I do hair, I bake, I, I do gardening. You could see my aloe vera. I started planting aloe vera like a joke just for my own personal use. 
before you know it i have like five six pots of aloe vera i started selling it i make use of my hand plan think use be creative don't just sit down and just be dull there get up do something with yourself that's what the bible is telling us here her hand is always busy she's always up to something she doesn't sit down and be gossiping talking with no no sense or sitting down and discussing issues or just whirling away her time not making profit out of her like this same youtube I, i've told you guys so many times of how i have come to youtube to improve my my so many skills of mine like i told you guys how i became a hairstylist how it was from youtube i improved when how i saw we one it is the same from youtube i learned how to knit i used to knit before i used my hand to knit i've knit a blanket socks cap jumpers with hoodies everything that you can think of because i don't want to be bored i want to be always be doing something with my hand don't sit down there and not do anything learn how to do hair learn how to i know it's not everybody that have to be good with their hands but try share and be good at something don't just sit down there and not be good at anything as a woman you have to be get up and make use of your hand be creative God, rally around and find something good to do with your hand. Don't just sit down and just be there. Do something with your hand. This woman of a noble character. Verse 20 says, She extend a helping hand to the poor and open her arms to the needy. Did you hear that? This woman, she extend her hand to the poor. The little you have, you can help other people. You don't just, she's not just about her household, her servants and anymore. She has finished taking care of her household. She has finished taking care of the needs of her house. Now she's extending her hand to the poor and to the needy around her. Look around you. Who is the person in need? Who, who needs help around you? I know you don't have to have a million dollars or be a billionaire or a millionaire before you help people. Like I always say, you being at the end of the phone is a helping is a help you're offering to somebody knowing that oh this person I, if i'm in, in need of someone to talk to if i need somebody to encourage me i know i can call on this person to to talk to i can call on this person and they find solution if i need help i can call on this person even if it's not financially if it's just to help me pick something or if it's just so, to help me do something can somebody rely on you that oh I can call on this lady and she's able to help me as a lady if it's not financially can you support somebody morally can you encourage somebody if you see somebody doing something do you encourage them and say go on girl you're able to do it keep going keep pushing until you reach your 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 goals do you see that there's so many ways you can help lend a helping hand it doesn't have to be financially it doesn't have to be at the at, educational it doesn't have to be true book or true and there's so many way you can lend a helping hand to someone did you see that she extend her hand to the poor and open arms to the needy are you open can somebody approach you and talk to you so guys i'm gonna stop here so that i won't keep the video long it's th I'm reading till 31, so I'm going to continue from 21 to 31 in the next video. Stay tuned. I hope you guys are blessed. And I hope this encourages you guys. This is the Bible I'm reading. Open your Bible. Look back on your life. Is there anything you need to improve on? Like I said, as I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself as well. Because I myself, I need to watch this video again and review myself. I met a woman that is open arm. Do I open my arms to the need, to the needy around me? Do I extend my hand? Do I extend my hand to the poor around me? Can my husband trust me? Those are the questions. I am asking myself from this episode, from this reading, from this woman of a noble character, stay blessed.
and I know you will see me again with the continuation of this same woman with this same virtuous woman the woman of a noble character stay blessed and look down and see what you need to do to improve yourself i'll be back to you guys soon bye